So welcome. Today we're going to be doing a Kundalini class. And this Kundalini class is a class for connecting to compassion, self-love through the body. It's a very gentle meditative class. So we're going to be sitting cross-legged throughout. And sitting cross-legged can be really uncomfortable for some people. So you might want to grab a cushion that you can use underneath your buttocks because sometimes it's more comfortable for the hips to be a little bit raised. Also, we're not used to sitting cross-legged. In our Western culture, we tend to sit in chairs, we're driving cars, we're sitting in front of computers all day. So this isn't a very natural posture for us. So if at any time you begin to feel uncomfortable, stretch your legs out, massage your knees, come back into the posture. This Kriya is going to use breath and gentle movement to come into that space of awareness. As we practice compassion, we need to remember that compassion begins with the self. If we do not have compassion for the self, it is impossible to practice true compassion for others. But for many of us, having compassion for the self is almost impossible. In my work with my clients and my students, I see so many people that commit all of their energy in their lives to others. And when their own needs arise, they suddenly feel that they're being selfish. And I always ask the same question, and I'm sure you've heard this before. How can you pour from an empty vessel? If you do not support your own needs, if you don't, do not support what instinctively you're denying yourself, how can you be real support to someone else? And just think about that for a moment. The more we support our own needs, the more we're able to support others. So this idea of having compassion and love for the self isn't selfish. It's simply something that we have to do in order to practice true love and true compassion for others. And the funny thing is, you can't give what you don't have. So right now, as you sit here denying yourself, you feel that you're giving everything that you have to everyone else. But actually, all you're giving is what you've been able to experience for yourself. So when you open yourself up to experiencing true love and true compassion, you begin to notice how what you're giving to everyone else is so much deeper and so much more powerful. And in this Kriya today, we're going to really experience that sense of settling into the body and feeling love for the self and allowing that love for self to transform our relationships to self and by extension to others. So we'll tune in using Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo. I bow to the primal wisdom. I bow to the teacher within me. Always starting our classes with that beautiful acknowledgement that within us lies everything we need, that we do not need to look outside of ourselves. Bring your hands together. Rubbing your hands together and feeling that connection between the palms. Notice the heat that builds up in your hands. And close your eyes if it feels safe. And notice what's happening in your mind as you bring your awareness to your hands. And then bring your hands to your heart center. Root through your sitting bones. Feel your sitting bones firmly planted through the mat. Reach up through your spine, the crown of your head reaching up towards the ceiling. Take a long, deep inhalation. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And we'll inhale to begin. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo
Deep breath in. Hold your breath in and feel that divine energy. The energy of trusting the inner voice. And exhale, release. Beautiful. You can bring your hands to your knees. And we'll start with spinal flexors, just warming up the spine, inhaling as you lift up, exhaling as you drop down. Keep your head in line with your spine so that the movement is really coming from the base of the spine. Notice the head hardly moves at all. The simple movement is awakening the kundalini energy that lies dormant at the base of the spine. Inhale up, exhale down. Beautiful, very, very nice. And the simple movement just feels so good for the body. Keep your breath and rhythm. Inhale up, exhale down. Nice strong movement, nice strong breath. Beautiful. Come to center and move to a Sufi grind. Massaging the internal organs and really have fun with this movement. Let your body lead you. Trust that your body knows exactly what it needs. And every day this movement looks and feels different when we allow the body to lead. When we don't force it, when we trust that the body knows exactly what it needs and change direction. Inhaling and exhaling, and rhythm to your movement. Beautiful. That's it, keep going. And coming up to center, move to neck rolls, drop your chin to your chest, inhale as your head falls back and exhale as your chin moves across your chest. Again, keeping the shoulders relaxed, not forcing the movement, see what the body wants and allow it. Change direction. <sighs> Feels so good, releasing the tension in the shoulders. And coming back to center. Open out your legs, take them as wide as you can get them, and then roll forwards onto your sitting bones. Now we're going to inhale at the center and exhale as we reach the chin down to the toes. Inhale up and exhale down. Make sure you're breathing through your nose. 
Make sure your spine is straight and your belly is lightly engaged, just to protect your lower back. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Beautiful, keep going. Stay with your breath. Inhale up to center, turn to face your right leg and exhale, relax. Deeply relax, turn your palms to face upwards. Let your head and neck soften, let your belly soften. Surrender completely. Use each exhalation to just go a tiny bit deeper into the stretch. Inhale up to center, turn to the left, and exhale down. And again, completely surrendering, palms facing upwards, deeply relaxing. Using each exhalation to soften, to intensify the stretch. Then you can walk your hands across to center and relax to the middle. Without expectation or judgment, just deeply softening and relaxing. And remembering that the aim is not to get the chest flat. The aim is to surrender, to learn to soften, to let go of judgment, and to just be present. Deeply relaxing. And curling up, bring your legs together, legs out in front of you, move the flesh from underneath your sitting bones, if you have any of course, and then inhale, reach your arms up, pull your shoulders down, and exhale, stretch forwards, grab hold wherever you can, inhale up, and exhale down. Again, breathing through your nose with strong, powerful breaths. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Beautiful, keep going. Take a deep breath in, lengthen your spine and then exhale, relax, palms face up and soften. Using your exhalation to deepen the pose, to relax completely. Each exhalation is softening even more. Beautiful. Gently curling up, <clears throat> coming onto your hands and knees. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And moving through, cat, inhale, drop your belly down, look up, and cow, exhale, curling up, let your head fall down, and continue, inhale, and exhale, again, listening to your body, maybe you're moving really quickly, maybe you're moving really slowly, just trusting always that your body knows, that your body knows exactly what it needs. Beautiful. Keep going. Gently moving at whatever rhythm and pace your body needs. And come to neutral. Take your right hand, slide it underneath your left arm, drop your shoulder, drop your ear, and stretch your left arm out. Now, with a tiny micro movement, shifting your weight to the right, intensifying that lovely stretch through the shoulders. Beautiful. And coming back to center, changing sides. 
sliding your left hand underneath the right to drop your right shoulder, stretch your arm, and a tiny micro movement now to the left, intensifying the stretch. Beautiful. Coming back to center and moving again through cat and cow. Drop, look up and exhale. See if the movement has changed for you now. See what it feels like now. Connected to your body, through your spine, through your breath. And come to neutral. Take your knees apart. Sit back on your heels. Stretch your arms forwards. Just let your forehead rest to the mat. Let your hips sink onto your heels. And when you're ready, very gently curling up and coming to Sukhasana to easy pose. Beautiful. So the first exercise we're going to be doing in this Kriya is the Ego Eradicator. A really beautiful exercise for coming into the body. When we practice this exercise today, I want you to be completely focused on what's happening within. So curl the fingers in towards the palm, the thumb extended on both hands. Extend the arms, straighten the elbows, tuck the tailbone under and relax the shoulders. Now we're going to do this with breath of fire. So breath of fire, we inhale, the belly expands and we exhale through the nose as if we were being punched in the belly. So it looks like this. Notice how the shoulders remain still. So it's not a whole body movement. It's just the belly that moves pushing the air up through the nose in a strong, powerful movement. Please do not do breath of fire if you're menstruating or if you're pregnant. So taking your arms up and let's begin. <laughs> If it feels safe for you, close your eyes and allow your eyes to turn inwards and upwards towards the point at the center of your eyebrow. Feeling that tug of the tendon behind your eyes connected to the pituitary gland. Stimulating the glandular system, building fire in the belly. Beautiful, nice strong breathing. Keep your breath going. As the elbows are nice and straight, <clears throat> Try and imagine that the energy is being funneled through the arms directly to the heart center. Keep the breath as strong and powerful as you can. Beautiful. Stay with it. <laughs> Keep going, really well, beautiful. Practicing compassion to the self means going beyond what's comfortable, gently moving into the space of discomfort, but also understanding what your body needs. So if you need to rest, try not to let your arms drop down, rest your arms momentarily on your head, keeping the energy flowing, and then coming back into the posture. <laughs> That's it, you're doing really well. Stay with the breath, stay with the breath. Elbows nice and straight, shoulders relaxed. That's it, keep going. Find a way, maybe nearing the end, just find a way to keep moving. <laughs> Thank you. 
visualizing all of the love in the universe flowing through your funnel of your arms right into your heart center expanding in your chest keep your breath nice and strong stay with that strong breath keep the belly moving just 15 more seconds everything you've got <laughs> And inhale, draw your thumbs together above your head, straighten your elbows, take a long deep inhalation. Hold your breath in, squeeze mole band by lifting the pelvic floor and the anal muscles and visualizing the breath as it's being held in your body as a beautiful healing white light. Take more breath in, lift and squeeze, hold it, drawing the energy all the way up even as you want to release the breath, hold it for just a few more seconds. And then turn your palms to face outwards and exhale very slowly down, drawing your hands down through your magnetic field. Just feel that energy around your body. As you come to stillness. Feel the absolute stillness, the mind quieting. Bring your awareness to your heart. And feel that beautiful, deep love. That love for self that begins at the heart. Beautiful. I'll bring your hands together and begin to rub your hands in a circular motion. So we're rubbing the hands in a circular motion. Close your eyes and take all of your attention to the palms of your hands. Vigorously creating heat between the palms. Keep your breath purposeful. See if you can lengthen the exhalation. Maybe you're inhaling for two and exhaling for four. Just feel the polarity of the movement and the breath, the conscious slowing down of the breath and the fast, vigorous movement of the hands. Consciously experiencing those polarities. Stay connected to the hands, the vigorous movement, to the breath. Notice what thoughts are arising and just allow them to surface. We're usually so busy that when these thoughts or emotions begin to rise up to the surface, we suppress them. We don't allow ourselves time and space to really experience what's going on, what's trying to talk to us. And so in this hour that we commit to ourselves, that we dedicate to our own healing and well-being, just allow it to rise up. See the thought, the emotion, the memory, the belief. Acknowledge it and just hold it in awareness. Beautiful. Now bring your right hand on top, palm facing down, left hand below. Close your eyes and feel the heat between your palms. Feel the warmth between your hands. Maybe you even feel a magnetic push and pull between the palms. Just hold all of your attention on that space between the hands. And now begin to feel 
the projection from your heart. And from your heart center, you're projecting a beautiful golden ball of light. And you feel this golden ball of light projected from your heart center and held between your hands. as the light of love and compassion. Held between your hands, love and compassion, healing from the self. Om Namo Gurudev Namo, it is here within me. Sometimes I forget that it is here. And I fall into the old beliefs and habits of doubting myself, of not trusting myself. Because these coping mechanisms helped me to survive. But they no longer serve me. And right here in my hands, I hold the key to my own healing. This beautiful healing light. And I notice on each exhalation that this ball of light is expanding, spilling out of my heart and filling the entire space between my hands. I feel the warmth of this beautiful golden ball as it continues to expand and grow beyond my hands. It feels as if my entire body now is held in this healing golden light feels so safe and so familiar. And I recognize this beautiful healing light as my true and natural state of being. It feels like I've come home. Home to my most pure and beautiful self. But I notice now that this beautiful healing ball of golden light has expanded beyond my own body. And I feel this healing golden light touching the lives of all of those closest to me. And I recognize that my own healing is the healing of all of those around me. This golden light from deep within me, touching the lives of all who I hold dear. I am held, I am loved, I am seen, and holding yourself in this beautiful golden light, reach your arms up, stretch up through your fingertips, take a long deep inhalation. Squeeze more band, lift the pelvic floor, lift the anal muscles, keep the breath in as you circulate that beautiful healing white light to every single cell in your body. Take more breath in, hold it, lift and squeeze, drawing your arms up. And turn your palms to face outwards as you exhale very slowly down. Drawing your hands down. And 
feeling the energy moving through your body. Completely aware, beautifully connected to all that is, to all that was, and to all that will ever be. We're now going to take the arms up, pull the palms backwards and down so that your palms are facing the ceiling or the sky and the fingertips are pulling downwards. Make sure your shoulders are away from your ears and begin a strong breath of fire. <laughs> Keep your breath nice and strong. Keep the fingers actively pulling down and the elbows straightened while the shoulders are away from your ears. And again, we're funneling this energy directly to the heart center. The palms are open, receiving, open to receiving the limitless, infinite, universal love. <laughs> the breath strong, elbows straight, palms receiving. Beautiful. Feel the energy flowing through the palms of your hands, through the funnel of your arms, directly to your heart center, filling your cup, drawing the energy in consciously and with awareness. Keep the breath strong. Keep the belly pumping. <laughs> Feel the heat building up in your body now. Find a way to keep the elbows strong. Remember, if you need to rest, momentarily bring your arms onto your head and then come back into the full posture. <laughs> seconds more. Find a way. Keep the breath strong. Keep the arms straight. <laughs> And inhale, draw your palms together. Take a long deep breath in. Hold your breath in, squeeze more bund and lift the energy up, visualizing the energy as a beautiful, healing, white light circulating through the body. Take more breath in, hold it, lift and squeeze. Keep the breath in. And turn your palms to face outwards and exhale slowly down, drawing your hands down through your magnetic field. And come to stillness. Feel what you're feeling. Feel that deep love and compassion. It comes and we accept ourselves exactly as we are. 
without judgment, without expectation. And then gently opening your eyes. Remember, if you need to, to stretch your legs out, to move your feet, massage your knees, whatever your body needs, trust and honor that within. Beautiful. Now we're going to wrap the arms around the body in a very beautiful, gentle embrace. Engage your belly and lean forwards into this embrace. As you hold yourself, feel everything that is within. Lean into this embrace. For many of us, our validation comes from outside. I need to be loved by another or I cannot love myself. But what we don't realize is that we've got it the wrong way around. I need to be truly loved by myself before I can be loved by another. I can only be met as deeply as I'm willing to meet myself. When I deny myself my own love, I deny myself the love of all others. And so as I hold myself here in this beautiful, comforting embrace, I forgive myself and I open myself up to all the possibilities of being held and holding others. The Buddha said, hold yourself as the mother holds the beloved child and feel that now, feel that embrace. The first moment you gazed into the eyes of your child, the first embrace of your lover, that moment you were held and supported by those you love. Honor yourself now with that deep compassion, with that beautiful love. Leaning into your own love. Leaning into the joy and gratitude of going within. Of holding yourself as the mother holds the beloved child. Feel the love flowing from within, held in that beautiful golden ball of universal love. Knowing that within you is everything you will ever need. And inhaling, coming back to center, take a lovely long deep breath in. Hold your breath in as you lift the pelvic floor and the anal muscles into more band. And visualize that beautiful healing white light. Feel every single cell in your body expanding under this beautiful healing energy. Take more breath in and hold it. And exhale, release. Coming to stillness. Creating space for the magic to happen. A beautiful awareness. Beautiful. So we're going to take the arms out to the side, palms facing upwards. And we're just going to hold here with long, deep breathing. 
And we're going to breathe consciously. We're going to inhale for the count of three. And as you inhale, imagine the energy flowing from the right palm over to the left palm. And we're going to exhale for the count of six, imagining the energy flowing beneath and through to the other side. So we're creating a circle of breath, inhaling for three palm to palm, exhaling for six from the base of the hand to the other side, creating a beautiful circle of flowing energy. So just practicing that now, inhaling three, exhaling six, and visualizing this beautiful circle flowing through your hands. And in the circle, feel yourself safe and supported. I am held and I am supported, even as I hold and I support. I am held and I am supported even as I hold and I support. Feel the energy flowing. Drawing this beautiful circle of support around your body. If your arms begin to tire, make sure your shoulders are relaxed. The more tension we hold in the body, the more difficult this posture becomes. So soften into it, soften the shoulders. Keep the breath constant and purposeful. Beautiful, stay with it. Satguru says, every subatomic particle in your body is responding to the limitless way, to the great dance of energy that is the cosmos. The only real reason you are not experiencing the life process in all its majesty and profundity is your current state of mental resistance. Every moment of your life can be fantastic experience. Just the act of inhaling and exhaling can be a tremendous love affair. Feel that beautiful, tremendous love affair now, the inhale and the exhale as it circles round and round your body. Beautiful. Take a long, deep inhalation. Draw your arms up. Bring your palms together. Lift the pelvic floor and the anal muscles. Hold the breath in. Take more breath in. Circulating the energy. And turn your palms to face outwards. Exhaling slowly down. And coming to Sukhasana. Feel what you're feeling. Feel the love and compassion overflowing from the heart center. The entire body alive with awareness. What a gift, what a joy, what a privilege to be present in our body, to have this life and to choose to live it consciously. And take your arms out to the sides, palms facing upwards and draw your arms up. Bringing your hands above your head, relax your shoulders, close your eyes. And just continue with, again, a long, deep breath. Feel the warmth and the energy from your hands. 
as you experience a beautiful self-blessing. Feel the love and compassion flowing down from you to you. This blessing that we seek outside of ourselves for, but is in fact right here within. We don't need to wait for validation. We don't need to be judged because everything we have is right here. Close your eyes if it feels safe and connect to that beautiful flow of energy. Still bathed in that beautiful healing golden light. Present and aware. As we bestow upon ourselves all the blessings of the universe. Breathing is the flow of the divine, where the rhythms of life turn into each other, the eternal exchange. Pour one breath into the other, out breath, into the in breath, into the out breath. Awaken to equanimity, at peace in the play of opposites. And inhale, take your arms up, deep breath in. Squeeze more band. Hold the breath, circulate the energy. And turn your palms to face outwards, exhaling slowly down through your magnetic field. And come to stillness. Feel what you're feeling. We're going to finish off today with a beautiful mantra meditation using the mantra, I am. And this beautiful mantra really is the essence of our existence. Somebody once said, the two most powerful words are I am, because everything that comes after I am becomes a prophecy. So just think about all the limitations you place on yourself after I am. I am not good at this. I am bad at that. I am, I am, I am losing ourselves in the negativity, the beliefs that we have surrounding ourselves. But when we chant I am on its own, when we leave it open to all the possibility of everything that exists, we open ourselves up to our full potential. So today we're going to chant this using movement. I am, palms together, I am, arms at shoulder height. Now you can either chant this silently or you can chant it aloud. It's entirely up to you. Just to keep our rhythm going, I'm going to chant it aloud. And you can either join in verbally or silently. And let's begin. I am, I am, I am, I am. I am, 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 I am. I am, 
I am. 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 Hands together, deep breath in. Lifting the pelvic floor, squeezing more band, hold the breath in and circulate the energy, beautiful energy moving through the body and visualize the white light spiraling up your spine and see that energy circulating up the spine all the way up, reaching to the crown of the head, hold it, lift and squeeze. Take more breath in and hold it. Turn your palms to face outwards and very slowly exhale your hands down, moving through your magnetic field. And come to stillness. And when it feels right, lying down on your back in Shavasana, you can take your feet mat distance apart. Allow your palms to face upwards alongside your body. And you can give yourself permission to relax fully and completely. Knowing that it is here, in this space of deep relaxation, that your body is here. Relax feet, calves and thighs. Relax hips and buttocks, abdomen and chest. Relax hands and arms, neck and shoulders. Relax face eyes, nose, mouth, and tongue. The entire body is completely relaxed, filled with peace. And in your mind's eye, I want you to visualize someone alive or dead who has loved you unconditionally. Very clearly in your mind's, mind's eye, see the image of that person. And I want you to gaze deeply into their eyes. Feel that beautiful love that they have had for you that you have shared back to them. And as you gaze deeply into their eyes, I want you to say to this person, may you be loved. 
May you be safe. May you be well. Gazing deeply into their eyes. May you be loved. May you be safe. May you be well. May you be loved. May you be safe. May you be well. And as you gaze into their eyes, notice how you are no longer looking into the eyes of this person. But you are gazing into your own eyes. And notice how you are flooded with deep love and compassion for yourself. And feeling those very strong feelings that you felt for them, you now feel for yourself. And as you gaze into your own eyes, you say to yourself, may I be loved. May I be safe. May I be well. May I be loved. May I be safe. May I be well. May I be loved. May I be safe. May I be well. And you notice now that you are no longer gazing into your own eyes, but you are gazing into the eyes of all those that you love and hold dear to you. Surrounded by the people you love, by your acquaintances, by every person you have ever met. And beyond all of those you have ever met, you're gazing into the eyes of all humanity. And with that same sensation of deep love and compassion, you say to all of humanity, may you all be loved. May you all be safe. May you all be well. May you all be loved. May you all be safe. May you all be well. And that beautiful golden ball of light that has been bathing your entire body extends and expands, filling all of humanity with the beautiful healing, love and compassion from deep within you. And in this moment, you recognize that your own healing is the healing of all humanity. And there is peace within, peace around, and peace in all the world. Shanti, Shanti. Shanti. Start to bring your awareness to the rise and fall of your chest. 
Very gently rubbing your thumb across your fingertips as you move your toes. You can take your arms above your head, have a lovely stretch. And drop your knees to the right as you look over your left shoulder. And change sides. can come back to center and rub the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet together. And when it feels right, rocking up and coming to Sukhasana, to easy pose. And bring your hands together. Come to your heart center. May the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam Sat Nam Thank you for being here and for sharing space today. Have a beautiful day.